It's Laura from Ross Draper Library, and Eddie and I are here to tell you that we have a really exciting update. Our seeds have sprouted. You can see them over here in our growing station, and like I said, what happened? The humidity domes have lots of water droplets collected on them because of the moisture and the warmth in there, and that was the perfect um, atmosphere for our little seeds to sprout. So let's take a look. the types of plants that we planted in a previous video have now sprouted so that's super exciting. Now that they've all sprouted we can take off the humidity domes so I set those aside and now we're just going to move the lights so they're about one to two inches above the plants. You don't want to get them too close because they might burn the plants but as I said before putting them too far away will make the seeds leggy. Okay so they're all set up to grow even more. Our little plants are growing and as they grow up, we're getting to know them. One of the best ways that we could bond with our plants is by singing to them. To some of you that might sound silly, but plants are alive and they need someone to care about them and to care for them, especially when they're so small and they need so many things to grow up strong. So we're gonna sing a song together. We'll try to sing it multiple times, but this is the first time we'll sing it and we'll have some hand motions. So follow along with me at home, sing and do the hand motions and learn this song with me. Eddie, are you ready to sing a song? You ready to sing a song, Eddie? Okay, so the first few lines are, Are you growing, are you growing, little seed, little seed? You might recognize that tune. As we sing that, we're going to use these hand motions. Are you growing, are you growing, little seed, little seed? Okay, next we're gonna say, When summer comes we'll plant you, but for now we'll help you. Okay, and our hand motions are, When summer comes we'll plant you, but for now we'll help you. And the last lines are, Grow up strong, it won't be long. And for Grow Up Strong, we're going to say, Grow up strong, it won't be long. Can we do it all together? Let's try. Are you growing, are you growing, little seed, little seed? When summer comes, we'll plant you, but for now we'll help you. Grow up strong, it won't be long. Great job, guys. Thanks for singing with me. You know, in that song, we were asking, are you growing? Are you growing little seed? I think they are. And I think a way that we can really track that is with our garden journals. Okay, so get out your garden journal and now we can go to the page where we have our growth log. Do you remember that? It's in the garden journal video if you haven't made your garden journal yet. So be sure to go and watch that video and make your own. So we can start tracking how tall our little plants are growing. So let's start with tomato. You can grab a pencil and a ruler and let's get to work. Okay, so in this first column where it says plant, we're going to write tomato. Okay, and now we're gonna write today's date. And the last thing we're going to do is measure our little seedlings. So be sure if you're planting your own right now and you're watching them grow, don't disturb the actual seedling because you might hurt it and it might break. So try as best you can to hold the roller up to it. You know, this little tomato plant is already an inch high. Okay, so our tomato is one inch. Let's repeat with our other plants. You 
know, it is just so nice to be here with you and our seeds and Eddie. I think we're going to have one more activity that we do. And we're going to read another really fun book. This one is called, What Will Grow? We might be asking that question right now as we see lots of little seedlings shoot up inside or outside or maybe in our garden from leftover seeds from last year. What will grow from these tiny green plants? This book, What Will Grow, is written by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Susie Garamini. Eddie, do you see it? It's time to read our story. Rolly round, rain-soaked ground. What will grow? What are those? Peas. Look over here, we have our little worm that's coming up out of the rain-soaked ground. We remember that from our dormancy book. Seed sow in a row. What will grow? What do you think those little green seedlings will grow into? The mice are waiting. <gasps> lettuce. Do you guys love lettuce? Look how green and bushy it is. Shiny brown, bumpy crown. What will grow? What are those? Do you see these over here? You know what those are, acorns, and they grow into an oak tree. The squirrels first ate the nuts and now they're living in the oak tree. So the, the tree helps them in two ways. Fluffy white, taking flight. What will grow? You know those little fluffy white things. Maybe you blow on them and make a wish. Dandelions, that's right. Very tiny, then so viney. What will grow? Ooh, tomatoes. I think we have one of those over here. Do you listen? You hear that, tomatoes? You're going to grow up and look like that. Hopefully, a fox doesn't come and eat you. I don't think we'll have a problem with that. <clears throat> Stripey black, crunchy snack. What will grow? Do you remember this? How I mentioned that it's one of the bird's favorite seeds to eat. It grows into a sunflower. Look how tall and majestic and beautiful that flower is. Eddie, do you see these flowers outside in the summertime? They're taller than you, much taller than you. Soft, hairy on the prairie. What will grow? They kind of almost look like dandelion seeds, but I think we saw those in our seed book. They're milkweed. Monarch butterflies love milkweed. There's one right there. Peck, peck, peck. Dark speck. What will grow? You know that one apple tree. There's a chickadee. We're seeing chickadees all over the place. Oval flat, soon fat. What will grow? A pumpkin. I love pumpkins. I love pumpkin pie, pumpkin cookies, carving pumpkins, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkins are really cool. There's so many things you can do with them. Flowery fruit, Orange root. What's that? What will grow? A carrot. I think we're going to be playing carrots soon here for our seed with our seedlings. Beige bead, chunky seed. What will grow? Do you guys know what that vegetable is? Radish. Snug tight. Paper light. What will grow? What's that? A pine cone. So it must grow into. How beautiful. A pine tree. Some of the only green we see in winter. Dark, deep, 
fast asleep, what will grow? Look at that. We see some earthworms and some different sections of soil here. We even see a mole. And what are those? Those little specks. I think those are seeds. What will grow? My garden. Wow, I hope our garden looks just as beautiful as that. And there's all of the seeds that we saw grow up into beautiful plants. Thanks for reading that story with me. Our little seedlings will grow up into those beautiful, strong plants as long as we take care of them. And I'm making sure that there is water in these white trays so they have plenty to drink and their heat mats and their lights are on. So they're good until the next time we check in on them. So the last thing that we are going to do together is think about the color green. Our little seedlings are all green right now. And we saw in that book that there's lots of different types of plants that come up out of the ground that are green and then they grow and grow and then they become all types of colors. So in summer, we see many different colors. But in spring, what are we seeing right now? So much beautiful green. The green in spring is so bright. Have you noticed that? So I want you to think for a second, how does the color green make you feel? Try to think of a word or an emotion you feel when you see the beautiful bright green outside. I think my word is alive or cheerful. It's a fresh start and I know that all of those beautiful plants are on their way. So before we go, I have this wonderful book of poems about nature. It's a very large book. There's lots of different poems and we are going to read a poem together because one of the best things to do to relax and to watch nature and to learn from nature is to write and read poetry. Have you guys written any poetry? Do you like to read poetry? This poem is called, What is Green? Here's a picture and there's lots of the color green. Eddie, do you like the color green? You love grass, huh? Listen to this poem. What is green? Green is the grass and the leaves of trees. Green is the smell of a country breeze. Green is a coolness you get in the shade of the tall old woods where the moss is made. Green is a flutter that comes in spring when frost melts out of everything. Green is a grasshopper. Green is jade. Green is hiding in the shade. Green is an olive and a pickle. The sound of green is a water trickle. Green is the world after the rain, bathed and beautiful again. Green is the meadow, green is the fuzz that covers up where winter was. Green is ivy and honeysuckle vine. Green is yours and green is mine. Hopefully that poem made you as calm as me and Eddie now are. We might go outside and just rest and look at all of the green. I hope that you do the same and that maybe you can even write a poem about it. That's all we have for you today. So thanks for joining us to check in on our little plants and keep reading and going outside and watching your own little plants. And we'll see you next time. Bye.